suggestions from Marilyn Monroe and the Westmore Beauty book this year. And right here I'm exfoliating my skin with sugar and olive oil scrub. Skincare is really the main thing. Um, and then I'm using Erno Laszlo. I'm using the same products that Marilyn Monroe loved um, because they she loved them for a reason and they're wonderful products. This is the 4-9 cream and I'm putting it under my uh, 38, almost 39 year old eyelids and it is keeping me hydrated. And next up I'm using Maddie's instead of Vaseline um, because I don't really want to pour petroleum or petroleum byproduct on my skin. Um, and this absolutely does the same thing. It creates a barrier, it keeps my skin moist, um, it makes it easier to blend my makeup, and it will give a dewy, uh, youthful, glowy finish. And then I'm using Erno Laszlo's Shake and Tint. Um, this stuff's absolutely amazing. It evens out your skin tone, it locks in the moisture, and it leaves you with a velvety finish. It's why the Vaseline doesn't look overly shiny and chrome. Um, it gives just a very natural and even look to the skin. And then I'm going to use Anita of Denmark Day Dew in the color that Marilyn used. I thought this would be too dark for me. I got it out of curiosity. Um, I mix it with a little bit of their silver pink and it's a great match. And then I'm using um, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow, uh, which is absolutely lovely. This color is called Fresh. It is a vanilla and I put it over the white. You can use Mervon Clown White for makeup as a base to highlight. Um, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills, look for the closest match that will work for you or if you wanna match it to Marilyn, that stuff is great. Then I'm gonna add a few drops of um, eye drops to my eyeshadow in a color that's an espresso and I'm going to create my shadow with my lashes and I'm gonna line along the top. Um, and then I'm going to tight line with black eyeliner. We're going to use three different colors. Um, Marilyn liked to use the um, Elizabeth Arden pencils. I don't know if they're still the same, but they do still make them. I often use NYX. And this is the blush that Erin uh, Parsons recommended. It's a brown pink. It's a gorgeous natural blush. And I use it on my cheeks. It smells rosy. I love the smell of it. Um, and I use it a little bit on my nose as well. And it has a great um, natural flush to it. And I don't really contour, I just use this blush and a little bit of Vaseline to create a dewy, um, dynamic look. And then I'm gonna line very close to the lashes with black, um, but I'm not gonna do my wing with black and I'm only going to do about three quarters of the eyelid with the black. And the rest I'm going to do with an espresso color. And I'm going to use a filbert style brush um, to blend that so that it's pretty seamless. And then um, Marilyn liked a Maybelline eyebrow pencil, which you can still get. And I had them since I was in high school and I tend to just get the same thing and just create little flecks of hair to fill in your brow. Um, keeping it really natural. Using the same principles for color that they used in the 1950s will really get you there. So um, if you use whatever color they recommend for your hair and eye color, um, you'll have the color palette that you want. And I'm just filling it in. I'm keeping my natural brow shape and I'm just making sure that the arch is defined. It helps a lot if you keep your pencil really sharp. And then I'm going to do my lips, and the lips have to be done in a way that is um, very dramatic and contoured to make them look pouty and heart-shaped and luscious. And so you really want to use your exfoliator and then keep them very moisturized. Um, I line very slightly above the lip, but then I kind of um, almost wing it out like you do the eyeliner in a way uh, to make this heart shape and then add a fullness in the center with lighter colors. And then this is new to me. 
Um, one of the mascaras that Marilyn used was the first automatic mascara, which was from Helena Rubinstein. Um, she made the first one and it was with what they call a screw top mascara wand because it isn't a brush, it's metal. Um, and they make another one in the States that you can get. It's very hard to get Helena Rubinstein in the States called Hourglass, but it's like $120 once it's all said and done, which is quite a lot. So Neogen, which is available on Amazon, makes one of these screw tops. Um, I'm using a lip brush there. Marilyn sent one to her sister, Bernice, and she said that the key to applying lipstick was through the lip brush. And then I used the Neogen mascara with the screw top and I use quarter lashes on the ends. This is a classic 50s bombshell look. I hope you liked it. Any happy any questions? Please let me know.